first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached Once I give you my word Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a voiceover because you guys loved the last one so much. These are lessons I did a few weeks ago. It was super cold and the horses were a little fresh, more so Apple than Chino. But I'm going to walk you through what I did anyway, but first we have to warm up. On Apple, I always start with a jump going left to left because he doesn't really like to land the left lead. So I find that if from the start, I start on the left lead and make him land left, it just puts it into the rhythm better, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do this off the left a few times, and then I'm going to turn right and do right to left, where you'll see he doesn't necessarily love to land the left lead, but he'll change it pretty quickly after. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Here, I am cantering left lead to the bunnies, and then I have to make a left turn and trot to this little vertical here. That's a lot harder than it looks, I promise. And then um, add a stride up the line when you trot in. So nice little line out. And then I'm going to turn right to the furthest hanger. I want to make sure I push him out and get straight so that I don't end up at the chip. And then we're doing a roll back to the other hanger. So again, pushing him off my right leg to get him around the turn. Then I'm looking left to go back to this line. I'm going to canter in and trot out. This I find really hard, but a really good thing to practice because one time when I was at WEF, they had this in the McClay test. So definitely recommend trying. Okay, so we're doing a course now. We're starting rightly to the bunnies. It's six strides to this one-to-one, -one, and Apple has a massive right lead. So I pushed way out. Then I'm just holding my body through this one-to-one. -one. Um, it's a good place to show off. Then I'm turning right back to the same hanger. Again, make sure you're getting them off your right leg um, so you're not falling in through these rollbacks. Otherwise, you're going to end up with either really long distance or right at the chip, which are not fun to do. Then I'm cantering left again over this little cross rail, trotting out. And now I'm gonna make a right turn to do this oxer to oxer line. You'll see I pick up the pace a little bit because you wanna make sure you are able to ride up and across the first jump. Unlike a regular line, an oxer to oxer line is hard for the horses because you have to ride across the first jump, then ride up the line. And as you'll see, he landed split and changed his lead. So the next time I go around, um, I do something differently to fix that, which I will explain to you after I finish this rollback off the left. Same thing as the other way, but opposite. Push him off your left leg, get him around the turn. So I do the same course again, but this time when I head to the four to the four, I go out wider so that I can tell Apple to land right. He really likes to land right, so if there's like a chance of him landing left, he tends to land split, which is what happened before. So you'll see me ask for the right lead. Thank you. 
and here it is. You'll see I went past that corner and now I'm coming a little bit right. There's the right lead. I can ride up for the four and ask for the lead change left to gather him back for this rollback. for Chino to have his ride. Um, I ride Chino in the Hunters and Derbies, so obviously I ride him a little different than I ride Apple, who I ride in the Equitation, but pretty similar overall. I'm just warming him up here, so I will just let you watch. Starting with a similar exercise with Chino, um, this trot in and canter out line. He tends to not pay attention as much, so this is good for him because it makes him really have to think about what he's doing, as well as the opposite way when you canter in and trot out. They really have to think about coming back and what you're asking him to do because they can't just canter down the line because you're telling them to slow down, which is a little confusing, um, but it's definitely good for his brain. Then I do a little course on Chino, so I'm starting off with this jump off the right lead, bending to the one to the one. Like I said before, it's a six stride, but Chino has a smaller stride than Apple, so I make sure to ride up in the beginning. That way I can get straight to the one to the one, because I don't want to be long into the one to the one, nor do I want to be heading left, otherwise it's going to mess up my line. Then I come to this hanger, like I said before, make sure you get them off your right leg so you can push them over. Same thing in the rollback. So here I am going to go ahead and do the same course, um, but then just add a little bit. After this rollback, I'm now going to get him around my left leg to get straight to this line. We're going to canter in and trot out just like I did on Apple earlier. And then I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit again to get over this oxer. The other thing about Chino is because he has a slightly smaller stride than Apple, this four is set long. So I need to make sure I get across this jump and then ride up. Um, Chino does have a big stride, like I said, but that is a really long four. Then I get him back to do this little hanger rollback thing again off the left lead. 
I go out to use my space here and I almost come past the hanger so that I can go back and go right to left to ask for the right lead and to stay out a little bit coming to this three because they tend to want to get fast because it's on the way home. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you did enjoy it and follow me on Instagram at Schillingford underscore Eck. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye. I